Hey guys, it's Terry. How's everybody doing? We have a weekend energy reading coming up right now, and that is what's happening. Or I should say, it's about to happen. It's about to go down. So just remember that this is a reading for the entire collective. So if any of this information resonates with you, awesome. If none of it resonates with you, that's okay too. Don't take it. Toss whatever doesn't make sense to you or you're just like, mm, nope, toss it aside. And if you would like something more personal, more private, we can arrange that. Just check out my site, terryhuberman.com and book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. As a matter of fact, throughout July until July 31st, there is a $50 discount off of a 45-minute psychic reading, okay? So if you use the code JUL2020, that's J-U-L-2020 at checkout, you'll go ahead and you'll get a $50 discount off of a 45-minute reading. All right, you guys, uh, let, let's just get into this. Um, <laughs> Uh, when I was checking in with Spirit this morning, um, they were pretty adamant about the fact that we're still moving pretty fast, that we're going too fast. And I'm like, I don't understand what you mean by going too fast. Um, and they were very specific by saying, slow down, um, which is telling me that a lot of us uh, because of the uncertainty, we're trying so hard to find outcomes and results and to try and gain a sense of control. We're moving too fast. And by us moving too fast, we're not necessarily making choices from the heart, but we're making choices from the ego, um, which usually comes from some sort of sense of survival, okay? So we're not, by us moving too fast, we're not really listening to our hearts. Now, here's the thing. What they're also saying is because of the timeline breakdowns and this weekend or last weekend, I should say, with the full moon eclipse in Capricorn, we received really big downloads. There were a lot of light codes that happened. A lot of us had yet another upgrade. Yay! I'm facetious when I say that. And you'll notice this by your body being exhausted, tired, run down, um, or you're feeling like you're still trying to catch up. Even though it's Thursday, you're still trying to catch up from last week, right? And that's because energy was whoosh, like down poured on us and we each downloaded all of that into our elect electromagnetic fields. And because our bodies are made of density and matter, it takes more time for that energy to integrate with our system. So we're still sort of catching up from that. So if you're tired or you're exhausted or whatnot, you know, just be kind and nice to yourself. Like you're fine. It's, it's all good. But what they're saying for this weekend is we need to slow down. So us moving so fast, psh, it goes against what we're being taught now, what we're being introduced to now, what the new world is going to be like now, what our new spiritual paradigm is right now, which is being more instead of doing more. And so by us slowing down, even though it might feel uh, like the opposite that we should be doing, that's the problem is that we're shooting on ourselves, right? Instead of really truly saying, what is it that I feel I need to be doing? Or what is it that I feel I want to be doing? But it goes more into feeling instead of thinking. And that is the new spiritual paradigm. That's the upgrade. And so by us really sitting in, all of these emotions, which I don't know about y'all, but literally in the morning, I could be at the, like in despair and like by mid afternoon, I'm in joy. And then like by the evening, I'm in anxiety and I'm like, what is going on here? But that's how fast we're moving and shifting and growing and evolving. And that's how fast the world is changing. 
and it's happening right before our eyes. So by us slowing down, we actually, in a very strange way, may be gaining more control over our lives because then we can sit there and truly feel something, right? And then we can be aware of what we're feeling and then we can say, okay, now what can I do? Instead of just working so in hyper mode and so robotic, right? So uh, slowing down this weekend, even though, and for a lot of us, um, and I'm going to pick some cards right now so we can see what implementation tools we can use for this weekend to help us through this navigate through this human experience this weekend. But for a lot of us, slowing down can can feel like we're not accomplishing anything, can feel like we're just, you know, like what the figgy pudding is going on here. You know, um, it's very uncomfortable. It can be very unsettling, but that's part of the, part of the lessons, right? Is that we are um, being pushed into spaces and places that are no longer serving us. This is shadow work. We're doing deep, dark shadow work. And if we're lucky, we have support through it. And if we're not lucky, then, you know, we just have a harder time. It doesn't mean you're not going to, you know, still benefit from this. But, you know, slowing down is not an easy thing to do. But what it does is it does regroup us, so that's good. Okay, I've got the cards here. Let's see um, how what the implementation tools, what we could do this weekend to sort of help us either slow down or just acclimate to all this new energy. Here we go. We have two of hearts. We have la rana. We have listening. And we have five of air. Yes. So um, five of air, listening, two of hearts, and la rana. So this weekend, by slowing down, we'll bring actually an element of luck. Now, getting into our hearts instead of our head, okay, being very logical, pragmatic, cerebral, um, is not going to actually benefit us this weekend because what's going to happen is we're going to be concentrating and focusing so much. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to be focusing so much on what's ahead of you. It's it's going to be as if you're wearing blindfolders. Is that what they're called? Blind, blindfolds <laughs> or blindfolders, <laughs> right? So when you have and you're wearing blindfolds, you don't you can't see what's going on over here. You just see what's going on right in front of you. So by getting into your heart. And by um, trying to feel your way through this weekend, you're taking off the blindfolds. You're just kind of, you kind of have a really, a much bigger space to look around. There's expansion. And so you'll be able to see alternative ways or views or uh, things that you can do differently this weekend. And when we do things differently, we get things differently because there is an element of luck that is going on this weekend. Now, I got to say that I feel like by listening to people, so this is going to be a, a weekend of co-creation, listening with other people, working with other people, collaborating, all sorts of relationships, okay? Platonic, work, um, uh teacher student although I don't know how many teachers are going to be teaching this weekend but um it's not just romantic when I talk about relationship this weekend is going to be all about listening and slowing down allows you to listen because when you're genuinely listening to somebody you're acknowledging them. You're really hearing what they're saying. You are witnessing them. And they're going to feel really good. They're going to feel heard. They're going to feel like they have that partnership. And you can't do that if you're thinking too much. Because when you're thinking too much, you're already on to the next thing. And then on to the next thing after that. And the next thing after that. Right? So it's like doing too much. It's being too much... Um, in action, too much in movement. So coming from your heart and two is a number of partnership, you know, is going to really bring an element of good luck and partnerships this weekend. So a lot of co-creation going on this weekend. If you are going to feel your way through situations instead of think your way through situations, okay? 
thinking, strategizing, analyzing um, is just not your friend this weekend. It's also, generally speaking, not your friend in the new world. Um, but that is something that we're being taught. We're being broken down so we can have breakthroughs. And the, the, the more we're resisting, the more painful it is. And I, with full transparency, will tell you I have a huge ego. And my ego is being dismantled like I can't even tell you. And the issues that are being like brought up to me and shown to my face are like crazy. And so when that's happening, I have no choice but to sit and face my shadow parts, the parts of myself I don't want to deal with. So this weekend, allowing yourself to slow down will actually benefit you and your relationships, okay? So there's going to be some dismantling of your ego in regards to relationship because we're supposed to be listening to whoever needs to say something. That could be your, your partner, a parent. It could be a colleague. It could be anybody. But if you're going to witness them and truly listen to what they have to say, this is going to be a really great weekend, uh, a lucky weekend of co-creation, right? So get out of your head, get in your heart, stop planning, even though I know it feels so good to plan because it's not even the act of planning. It's just knowing what that outcome and that result is going to be. But living in the world of the unknown, you can be safe. You can be safe in the unknown. The only thing that's consistent is inconsistency. So if we can learn, and I say we because I am practicing this and I am learning all the fucking time that I can be safe in the unknown. And if I can trust that the only consistency is inconsistency, it will help me manage my expectations, right? So this weekend, slow down, you guys, slow down. And if you slow down, you're going to find that you will have a lot of benefits and a lot of great luck in your relationships this weekend, which is like important because we are in retrograde season and still at the tail end of Mercury retrograde where communication can just get all garbled up. So what am I always saying, you guys? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me. And I'll see ya on the flip side.